Hey guys, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Calibrated Gamer. Today, we are back in Faith, a shockingly terrifying RPG horror game. No, I see you. I see you. I'm gonna sit and see you over the rug. Please, please, please. Okay, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Um, but everything's going good so far. I don't know where to go, so I am heading downstairs into the basement. Nope. Heading downstairs in the basement. I'm going to try to perform this right again if I can. No! Gah. See, the orange kind of throws me off because of the bloody demonic sign trail thing kind of appears out of nowhere. Okay. It's fine. Everything's going great. Everything's going great. Everything's going great. <sighs> All right. Now what? The power of Christ compels ya. Shoot. Okay. Uh, not sure if I can do anything else here, so I gotta get out of here. Don't hit me. 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 No. No! No! Okay. The door open upstairs. I heard a door open upstairs. The door! There was a door upstairs! I gotta get back up there. <laughs> Alright, the, the, that audio thing needs to cool it. This was... This is the attic. I wasn't in the attic, I was on the second floor. Karen, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She was my superior. Father Arad with blank. When I confronted her, she managed to cut the power in the house and her own parents with their own. I have to go back to the house. The nightmares I'm having are real. She's still there waiting for me. I can still help her. If I don't come back, Know that I love you and I'm sorry. John. I think that means I didn't get all the lore, but that's fine. Okay. Alright. Crosses aren't supposed to spin around. They're supposed to be upside down if you want the Antichrist. My God, what happened to you? <laughs> oh my God, stop. I have to finish what I started. <laughs> Not for long, demon. Give her back. The power of Christ compels you! Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> Mortis. Mortis. Yeah, shoot. Okay. Alright. Hi, beautiful. Oh, nope. Not quite. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Shoot. Mortis. Mortis. Alright. Checkpoint. I can work with that. Creepy. <laughs> I love the animation. Ow! Oh. Got it. Got it. Understand. Understood. Do I have to just avoid that? Or, like... Okay, alright. Fine. Mortis. I get it. Change my name to Rick and Mortis. Ha 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 ha. This is so difficult. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. Ha, ha. Did I do it? Oh, okay. I don't like that. Gotta just stay out of her freaking path of heck. I don't like this. Okay, it's spreading out.
Okay, a little too far away. That's fine. Okay. Eat it! Oh, okay, she took one more step. <laughs> Mortis. Okay, I got it. Alright, but I mean, it's, it's pretty awesome, right? I love the animation. Okay. So far. Ah! Guess I got a little too close. Frickin' heck. Alright, I got it. Hand out of the face. Oh. Shoot! Guess I wasn't aiming in the right direction. Okay. Why would she keep going that time? Mortis. Doesn't make any sense. Mortis. No! Okay. 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 That's 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 what I wasn't real Mortis. aware of. That's what got me. Mortis. Mortis. Yeah, this game's a little old. Don't Jesus. Do that. Yep. <laughs> Lord and Savior, protect me from the demon that he's going to summon. I am exercising it actually. No, it doesn't count. Okay, okay, doing good. Two, three. Oh, that is terrifying. You got it! You can fight it! Come on! Come on! Okay. Is this it? Am I. Oh! Oh no! Oh crap, she ran outside! Uh. So that's a good thing, yes. So now am I gonna have to deal with kill her? Oh, wonderful. No, that's great. Yeah. This is good. Rifle? A gun with one bullet. A gun with what? <laughs> the game said a gun with one bullet. But I shot the one bullet. <laughs> well, so now we are out on the hunt for the demon Amy, or well, Amy is the vessel, the demon is whoever, and we have one gun, one bullet, so we need to make this shot count. I have no idea where I'm going. I have no idea where the demon is. There was another thing hiding in the woods that was eating deer and me, and I don't know where that thing is either. Oh. Great. Uh. You dead? BAM! You're dead! Maybe that wasn't good. Is it over? Is that it? That's not it. The deed is done. Well, I'll just assume that everything is honky dory and that there's no reason to be afraid at all. He kind of looks goofy for a uh, reverend. I imagine him just kind of walking around like this. Like his arms, like all the way back for some reason. Can I leave now? <laughs> Car! Oh, okay. Cool. I think that's actually it. I think I actually did it. Oh, oh, being pulled over by the police. Okay. Game over. Ending one of five murderer. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, this is one of those games! What? I shot a little girl in the head and I'm called a murderer? Police arrest man accused of murdering missing girl. A New York man was in custody after he confessed to the murder of a sterling girl who had been missing. John Ward of. Paul Palmeria was pulled over on Snake Meadow Hill Road last night after state trooper reported hearing a gunshot. The officer thought it might be poachers. The officer said Ward was acting nervous and suspicious after being pulled over. When questioned, Ward reportedly said, I've killed her. According to the police report, the officer called for backup after Ward became increasingly upset, saying repeatedly that there was a demon inside of her. Ward has taken to Sterling Police Headquarters for further questioning. Ward then confessed to the authorities that he shot and killed Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl who had been missing for nine days after escaping from a mental institution. Oh, peachy. After a brief search... Police located Amy's body in the woods near the now abandoned Martin home. In addition to receiving a gunshot wound to the stomach, Amy showed injuries suggesting that she had been thrown out of the second story window at the house. An officer who helped recover the body told reporters that Amy's face had been mutilated in a very brutal manner. 
Ward was found dressed as a priest when he was pulled over. It is suspected that he's impersonated a priest to gain the victim's trust after Catholic authorities in Rome confirmed that Ward was not an ordained minister. The rest of the article is missing. What? That sounds really interesting suddenly. So, I, what am I missing then? Maybe killing her is not what I need to do. Maybe I should talk to her, and through the power of love and friendship, I can bring her back to this mortal realm. That's a theory, anyway. Okay, well, I'm going to walk up to the little girl with the gun, but I'm not going to shoot her this time. And, uh, we're going to see what happens. Because that's a... Cause that's a great idea. Oh, hello, little bloody demonic girl. How are you? Don't mind the gun. Just going to walk up to you. Oh. Okay. Well, she's not attacking me, so that's good. But just touching her ain't gonna do it either. Okay, <laughs> that's a <little> weird. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna move past. We're gonna move past that. Um, I don't know. Well, see, here's the thing. If the if there's got to be something else to this. That there was something hunting me out here in the woods. Maybe killing that will provide the answer. Oh. Part of my instinct is to kill this deer. Which makes no sense. No, don't kill the deer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot the deer. One gun, one bullet, why not? And I'm gonna hide behind this tree. Nothing's gonna happen. So now I'm gonna eat the deer. Um, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> One of the endings would be to leave without doing anything to the demon girl. So I guess I'm gonna leave and get another ending. It's not a good ending, but at least it's something. I will set up the war. It is my refuge and my fortress. I can't take this. My God, it is my will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no way! I was not expecting that to be an ending. <laughs> ending 4 of 5, The Hunter. When I shot the deer, that unlocked an ending. A deer... Uh, my car hit a deer as I was leaving, and then I woke up like on the ground, and all these deer were standing around me, ready to kill me. And I slowly crawled towards my crucifix, hoping it'll help me. And then they just like go at me. Identified body yeah, yeah, discovered yeah. near wrecked car. The site of a deadly car accident was discovered along the road near Sterling this morning, along with the body of a person who has not yet been identified. At 6 a.m. this morning, a resident called to report the accident along Snake Meadow Hill Road. The driver of the silver sedan had swerved off the road and struck a tree. A spokesman for the police com commented that the body appeared to have been dragged several yards away from the car deeper into the woods after it had been ejected from the front windshield. It was noted that the body had been mangled beyond recognition. Investigators suspect this is probably the work of coyotes. Police also noted that the parts of the cleaned white tailed deer were found in the part in the trunk of the car. From the white tailed deer, a hunter typically gets 75 pounds of meat. However, it appears the victim of the accident was only able to carry 25 pounds back to the car. Interesting. Okay. Well, maybe picking up the gun is bad. Maybe I need to go after the girl and try to crucify her one more, or not crucify her, try to exercise her one more time. The power, the power cry, power cry, power cry, power, power cry, power cry, not interested, power cry, okay, well, I'm going to head south from here, I should probably should have grabbed the gun. Probably a dumb move to be walking around here without the gun. But, uh. We'll see. You know what? I'm gonna grab the gun and I'm gonna try to figure something out. I will be right back. 
Okay, all right. So, just walked around for a bit, got totally lost, but then I saw this thing. I think this might be the demon that was inside of her. We're about to find out. Bam! Well, it was a demon. I sure did take that bullet. <laughs> I will say a right. lawyer, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid. <laughs> Pull over. Father and son. That looked and sounded like whatever demonic monster thing. Esteemed Cardinal Gifford. With all due respect, you cannot grasp the importance of the work I'm doing for young Michael without being present here. Michael needs my help now more than ever. In the past few weeks, I have made great progress with Michael's affliction. Nevertheless, whatever darkness is inside of him fights back with increasing ferocity. We must not let up on the fight against the enemy at such a crucial time. There is another reason why I dare not return Michael to his family, nor let him them see him. The darkness inside him afflicts his soul, but also causes a terrible strain on his body. So that there may be no mistaking what I mean, I have enclosed a photograph of young Michael during one of our sessions. The photograph is missing. Okay. Great. Okay, alright. I have no idea what this is or how I found it, but I was walking along, trying some different paths. And I just found this, so I'm not even going to question it. I'm going to shoot first and ask questions never. Cool. Awesome. So, I wish I could... The game's not going to tell me what that was, was it? Okay, cool. Awesome. Well, I'm going to assume that I did something good. And I'm going to go back to the car and we'll see. So, I'll be right back again. <laughs> Yay for finale episodes. Don't start freaking praying, man. That has killed us too many times. Okay, that, those are demons. That is, oh, okay, no, we drove to hell. Great. I knew this was, uh, I knew there was a highway to hell. I just didn't know we were on it. Crap. Game over, ending of three. The offering. Okay. Hello, Amy. I am sorry to hear about your parents' decision. It was hard for people to trust what they do not understand. I know you are only 17, but you are clearly an adult and are able to handle your own life. Do not let your mom and dad stop you from following your dreams. If there's anything I can do to help you, just let me know. We are having a get-together at the clinic Saturday night, and I would love for you to stop by. We still consider you a part of the team, even if your mom and dad do not. We hope to see you there. Gary. What? Why is it in red font? Was it demon writing this? What? She was at a mental ward. What the fuck is going on? What does that even mean? Okay, so there's one more ending. Uh, no clue how to get it. But I will walk around a gun with one bullet. And then we will figure it out, I guess. Okay, so I've been walking around a little bit and I haven't seen anything in the woods. However, I thought about something. I walked to the car without my gun every time. I've never been around my car with the gun. I'm not saying the car is possessed, I'm just saying maybe something will happen. So I'm gonna just walk to the car and if it'll let me leave, that should trigger another ending. Because I got an ending for shooting the girl, and I got an ending for shooting the deer. I didn't get an ending for not shooting anything. So, this should be the fifth ending. I mean, I can't really think of anything else logical that would happen besides another chance for an ending, at least. So, I guess, we'll, I guess we're about to find out. Uh, this has been a very well-made game for whoever created this game. Uh, congrats, you did a good job. For sure. Oh, 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 okay, the spider monster demon ate, ate me, cool, that's great, well, at least we're on the right path. <laughs> Alright, where are you, son of a gun? Come get it, yeah, oh, that's good, good stuff, oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, that works. That works. Okay, we... but now wait, was that 
god, my I'm so confused. Is my that? God, it, it, I, will trust. I get it. I get it. I shall, shall not be afraid of the terror of the night, nor the evil that walketh in darkness, because I have made the Lord my refuge. Great. Proud of you, buddy. Yes, I. I understand. Therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and he Keep will praying. answer That's great. me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me. So far, this is the furthest you've made in this prayer, buddy. Every other time you've died. So, you know, thank I me instead. What happened at that house. Neither can I. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. Well, you haven't died yet, so I imagine you did do the right thing this time. Love that Stranger Things-esque music playing in the background. Ending 5 of 5. When faith endures. Game over. Okay. Alright. So that's all five endings of Faith. Indie horror game. Lots of fun. Had a blast. There's other, um... There's other lore I didn't collect, I believe. I think there's some other items and stuff that I didn't get. So you guys, there's still more to this game. And, I'll let you in on a little secret. According to the Touch Manual, if you get all of the lore before going in the attic and facing the boss, the boss battle that I fought, you get a reward, and the boss battle is super easy. So, go check out this game. Go check out that lore. See if you can't figure it out yourself. Police, animal it's experts, investigate chupacabra remains found near Sterling. Sterling PD is enlisting Sterling, why is that so familiar? Is enlisting the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut after the remains of an unidentified animal was found near Sterling. The remains of the animal, which some residents are calling Chupacabra, were discovered on Snake Metal Real Road by motorists yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorists who discovered the remains had told them they appeared to be of a person. After arriving on the scene, police concluded that the remains were of some kind of animal. As a matter of public safety, we want to be sure as to what exactly we're dealing with here, said the Sterling Police spokesman. This is clearly not a deer or a coyote. If it's a mountain lion or exotic pet that escaped from its owners, or an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts attached to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal had been found, although they commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the rickets, a vitamin D deficiency that appears in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. Oh my gosh! It might... I mean... It's very well possible that this thing that came at me on all fours yelling and screaming this utter nonsense, attacking me and eating me to stay alive. Obviously, a demon doesn't need to eat things to stay alive, so it could very well have been a child who had been left there. So maybe the demon was the only thing that I had out there worrying about. I, I don't know. But then again, it probably was demonic possession. I don't know. That's crazy. Okay, well, I know the game didn't technically end but that is the fifth ending so i'm going to end it there thank you guys so much for watching well i can comment down below if you've enjoyed this game let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more horror games if you want to see more platformers if you want to see more puzzle games whatever just let me know genre or, or a specific game and i'll be happy to give it a shot especially since winter break is coming so ideally we'll have some time to record and edit so thank you again Subscribe to stay calibrated. Hit the little bell icon if you want to be notified of when videos are coming up. I hate telling you guys about it, but of course it does remind you guys as it does remind me when I watch other YouTubers. So, yeah. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in that next video. Bye, everyone.